welcome back. The leaders of the eight countries of South Asia just recently concluded the 16th SARC Summit of 2010 in the Bhutanese capital of Thimphu. During the summit, they renewed their commitment to combat climate change, the theme of the conference, and also to work more practically towards bringing peace and prosperity to the region in the future. Sri Lankan President Mahindra Rajapaksa also travelled to Bhutan to be a part of this prestigious event. The 25-year-old regional body, SARC, has regularly been criticised for not being able to achieve its potential for the development of the Asian subcontinent. But the summit is always a major event, especially for the host country, as it brings together the region's leaders and thereby an exchange of mutually relevant ideas and views. The little-known and little-visited host country, nestled in the Himalayan mountain range, is the region's youngest democracy. Bhutan stands apart from the others for its critical views on the prevailing development model and for its call for a paradigm shift from the concept of GDP or gross development product to a focus on GNH or gross national happiness. At a parallel event, the 5th SARC Journalist Summit, organized by the South Asia Free Media Association and South Asian Women in Media, Bhutan's Prime Minister explained the philosophy of gross national happiness, the need for a broader understanding of democracy that goes beyond holding elections and the role of the media in achieving the higher goals of human development. Gross national happiness is not a promise or a guarantee of happiness by the government of Bhutan to our people. First of all, we interpret happiness as the deeper sense of contentment or satisfaction with life and not fleeting sense of fear. Happiness, we believe, is an individual pursuit and we must look deep within ourselves to find it. GNH, therefore, is a responsibility of the government to create the right environment for the people to find happiness. It requires that, since the single most important desire of all citizens is happiness, the endeavor of government must be to create conditions that will enable its citizens to pursue happiness. The challenge for our first democratically elected government is to ensure that democracy becomes an instrument of peace, stability and harmony and serves to inspire good governance and progress. That democracy takes firm roots and becomes an irreversible process. That elected leaders do not serve the vested interests of the few and do not undermine the rule of law. If democracies fail, it is not necessarily because of its inherent flaws, but because it falls in the wrong hands. Wrong hands because people are not empowered sufficiently to exercise their power with wisdom. People are not able to understand the power and value of the vote and the responsibilities therein in many developing countries. So it is imperative to build people's capacity to choose their representatives wisely and to hold them responsible and accountable. GNH requires that every citizen to achieve happiness must be empowered to make the right decisions and these and this in fact resonates with democracy because democracy in its purest form is the empowerment of the people discourse has to go beyond the parliament and people have to be encouraged to open to be open with their views as citizens are given more access to information they are better informed and better able to take part in government and politics there are three specific clauses enshrined in our constitution that are designed to inspire a healthy growth of the media in Bhutan. And these are freedom of speech, opinion, and expression. Freedom of the media and right to information. For us in Bhutan, we understand that the ultimate purpose of these rights is not to benefit journalists, but that they are rights bestowed for the benefit of the people. The media, like the government, is mandated to serve the people those rights. The media must be more than a watchdog for society and public space for discourse. Media must perform a critical public function 
because they are expressing values all the time and thereby cultivating the public mind. Therefore, media must help society to process, define, and promote the right values that contribute to the happiness of the individual and well-being of society.